and she said, yes, we didn't go to church, but I got this. Welcome to Off the Ranch. I'm working a half day today at the vet clinic just this morning, and then at lunchtime, I'm heading out, out of town, going to H-Town, Houston, and then going to East Texas. So it's gonna be a long day, but a good day. So this one, um, whenever you're doing vet wrap, just do it loose. So you put it on. <laughs> Why are you You're a good boy. I think you have a perfect dog here. She's hey. really, really calm. Yeah, she's very calm. Oh, man. Hey, do you think she's going to be tough when I give her a shot? She's so brave. I think she's going to be a tough dog. Are you tough when you get shots or do you cry a little bit? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I cry a little bit too. But I bet Ruby's gonna be tough. Good girl. She didn't even move. All right. So that is distemper and parvo and a couple other common viruses that okay. puppies get. This is a little dewormer. You yes. are a good girl. Yes, okay. And then this is for heartworms. All righty. Thank very, you so much. Very nice it was meeting so you. nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. You say bye? Bye. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> Work's over now. It is lunchtime and I am heading out of town after I eat lunch because I'm going to some continuing education classes this weekend as a vet. Just like in the previous video, we have to take a bunch of CE classes. And I'm getting 17 hours of it this weekend, but I'm doing it several hours away from here. So it starts tomorrow at eight, and I'm staying with a friend in East Texas. But first, on my way there, I'm gonna do something that you Demolition Ranch viewers will like a lot. But I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Also, you can tell if you're in a YouTuber's car because like everything's charging like I've got my GoPro charging I've got my phone charging my computer is hooked up with that cord plugged in right there just don't want to waste any electricity you know I got to get the charge while I can because I probably need to stop and do some computer work in a minute I have a bunch of emails I need to respond to but I'm gonna go get some lunch first and then get the heck out of town man Matt your life is awesome you get to play with kittens and guns every day yeah, but what you don't know is that instead of eating inside the restaurant, I come out and eat in my truck so that no one can see how alone I am. Mm -hmm. I always find you got 
gotta saddle up your boys, you gotta draw a hard line. When the gun smoke settles, we'll sing a victory tune and we'll all be back at the local saloon. I'm in Spring, Texas now. We're halfway to my final destination point, but I'm stopping here to show you guys something cool. I'll tell you in just a minute. I'm gonna keep it a secret, but I'm like, I'm a few minutes away, like eight, eight minutes away. I'll see you guys in eight minutes, which will be like two seconds for you. We're here. We are at F1 Firearms up there. They uh, are an AR-15 manufacturer. I've used their products a lot. I hang out with all those guys. I went to SHOT Show with those guys. I'm wearing their hat right now. And I've never been to their place of business. I hang out with these guys all the time, and I've never been here, so we're at F1 Firearms. We're gonna go in and see where they make all these beautiful guns. Show me everything you have. Full auto, nine millimeter Uzi. It's yeah? Kind of fun. So these are, this is just the collection room. Yeah, it's kind of a fun room, you know, a little bit of everything. Kind of, kind of a fun room. We bring stuff in here, figure out how to reverse engineer it, make it better. Like you should figure out how to reverse engineer Desert Eagle. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. It's a little short barrel shotgun. Like, see this 338 Lapua? And then see Jeez. the upgraded version? Yes. Yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Except it's not 338. Not yet. So it's got something for you. For your, to match your gold Straight too. gold. Straight out of... That's gangster Compton. right there. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of Compton. <laughs> <laughs> should it be a secret or should I tell no, you? Nick already told... Wait, wait, are you going to do that bus talk and everything? Uh, yeah, that's what we talked about. Right. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I wasn't planning on telling you, but I just want to tell you. We're coming out with a Demolition Ranch AR. It's gonna be sort of similar to this one. The same camouflage, anodized pattern on it. Skeletonized upper and lower. And we're working on what butt stock, and I think we're gonna do something to make it a special Demolition Ranch version. That's to come. I'll tell you more when we know more, but that's one of the reasons I'm here today, just figuring some of that stuff out. Hit the gas one more time, and I'll break up. Jeez! Crazy. Yeah. Neat. Non serialized components, so they'll come in and grab it. It's just all parts? Yep. This is pretty cool. Bunch of gold bolt carriers. They're pure gold, that's why they have them in this safe right now. But I never thought it, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah. I thought you guys were just like in your garage doing well, this stuff. Smoke, it's whole time. It's <laughs> official, man. In your shorts? I know, I was like, do you wear that to work? It's Friday. <laughs> so you'll make guns out of those? Yeah. Those so are just all big... Alcoa, this is all of our um, upper and lower extrusion over to your right. And if you look on the other side, you'll see all the handguard. Oh yeah, crazy. We make all of our handguards super skinny, uh, take out a lot of weight without sacrificing any functionality or rigidity. That is crazy. Yeah, plenty of bars. So we try to buy about uh, anywhere from three to four months at a time. So we got large shipments. These are called drops, so we use these. I want you to make me an AR-15, please. <laughs> Just give me one second. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Better get to reloading. What does that so weigh? You can guess how many are in here. <laughs> yeah. Whoever guesses closest gets a free How many are in there? <laughs> I wonder how much it weighs. It's not light. Yeah. We a bunch of handguard stock in here. Uh, upper lower stock based on 556308, five, and then already finished uppers just in case the machine goes down or a tool breaks and we don't have a redundant Super tool cool. or machine to uh, pick up the slot. Making one right now. Push drill, so you have the entry point, the exit point. You'd actually put this barrel in here. These two centers chunk, uh, chuck up. You do drill two at a time, about eight minutes. For two, we'll take them off. Two on three feet. And then once they close that door, So right now it's raw, you can't yeah. put a mag in it? See, a mag would not fit in there. <laughs> that milk? <laughs> you add milk and it gets nice and strong. 
You know it's milk. Muscle milk. Muscle milk. Okay. If it gives you a shock, don't worry about it. And do I take my fingers out? You're good to go. I can get your fingers out. I can pull my fingers out? Yeah, you can pull out. Anticlimatic. So we just broke. You can take thing? it out. Yeah, pull it up. Now what? Pull it out. Show Mary what you made her. How about that? <laughs> Ready for the barrel extension, and then we take a top three, and we do our gas port and our indicator. Y'all do all the fluting here. Yep. Show you all the fluting in the back. Cool. That's neat. So this is a cut in half barrel here. You can see how the cartridge fits up in there. That's neat. I've never seen that before. This machine flutes barrels, so it puts all these little cuts in barrels. So you put in a regular barrel like that that has no cuts on it. Correct. And it will do it with the machine magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three, four, one, seven. Come on, man. Three, two, one. <laughs> Got it. Go straight. Zach, walk us through what it is you do. Show me everything. <laughs> All 556? Five, five, no. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. C4. Welcome, bro. I recommend you find yourself here the uh, zombie apocalypse dice. So, this is all ammo. This is what I'll have in my house soon. Here's the C4 in the corner. Really? Yeah. Why do y'all have C4 here? It sure goes awry. <laughs> Just in case. I have a 308 F1 firearms AR 15. It's right here. They took it back because they wanted to send it to Guns and Ammo or something, right? The magazine? Yeah. They were like, hey, can we borrow that 308 for a while so we can send it to Guns and Ammo for testing? And then I haven't had it for months. It actually hasn't been on the channel yet. It was in the magazine. Oh, it was? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take home my, my 308 finally. It's been like. Too long. It's been like a month or two that I haven't had this gun. Last look at the the possible future demo ranch gun. Anything you would change, this has a fluted barrel. I think, you can see it has silver fluting on it. I think we're gonna do all black, so it's just, this is gonna be all black and multicam. This is anodized, so it's gonna be a really nice finish. We're trying to decide, there's just a lot of little things we're trying to decide exactly what to do. But if you guys have anything you would love to see on the Demolition Ranch rifles, we're just gonna make a limited edition, limited edition run, probably, a hundred of them, and uh, they'll be for sale to the public in the future. I'll let you know when that happens. The near future. Ugh. Heading out now. Got my my 308 back there, just in case stuff goes down. I mean, I already have a couple guns in this car, just in case. But it's always good to have a, a just in case, just in case, if you know what I mean. I'm heading out now. Nothing else exciting is going to happen in my day because I still have several hours of driving. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Comment below on what you'd like to see if you're interested in buying limited edition Demo Ranch AR-15. What would you like to see that might be slightly changed from that one? I like the camo, we're going with camo, that's for sure. Anything else in particular you want on that gun? Maybe we could do them with an optic or something? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm not killing people. Just say I want to murder you. Oh! <laughs>